Hi, it's Renee again. Um, about the Bell's palsy, the face, the funny face, it's almost gone. That's a good thing. Um, the tinnitus is still here. Mm, that is the um, sensation I have um, water in my ear which I clearly don't have but that's the sensation I have and the sound like a truck reversing with the beeping sounds it's still here but next week I have an appointment with uh, on Monday with the neurologist so I'm happy to hear what he has to say um, I think they cannot do anything about it but I heard from someone here on the YouTube channel she wrote me and she said um, take a hear an hearing aid which is I'm I'm going to do that Tuesday next week I have made an impo uh, an appointment and um, I hope they can help me out with a hearing aid and the sounds that I obviously hear in my head um, I hope it works. Okay, uh, I start with the positivity jar because I went for a walk today and it was gorgeous weather. It's it was just like all oh, being on a on a skiing holiday. I mean, it was a crisp, bright, uh, a gorgeous smell in the air. The sun was out. There was wind. It was a bit chilly. But I loved it. I had a good run. So on the 5th of March, this one is going in, in the positivity jar. Okay, I finished some things because I start a lot with knitting. But I do finish things, really, I do. Look, to, I don't know what to call them, hand warmers or um, fingerless mitts or mittens. That's what they are. I made these with um, three threads, two alpaca from Drops, Karn Design, and one thread of sock yarn. Very warm, very soft. I love them. So that's what I, f I finished last week, I think. Yeah. And also because it was getting cold, colder in the Netherlands here. I made me some um, real mittens with, fing with um, the fingertops um, from Lopi Yarn. That's an Icelandic uh, brand uh, and they're from special sheep that live over in Iceland. I love it. It's a bit rustic but the longer you wear them and they are water resistant. I have made a, a coat from this kind of wool and multiple sweaters from it. It's very, very warm, very good. So those are the hand things. Made a hat for a friend in Ireland. Um, I used two threads of sock yarn, four millimeter needle magic loop um i think 96 96 stitches i think and i did um what's it called a broken rib it's one round of knit to purl two and then the next round is knit all the stitches and you go on until you need um, the crown to be shaped and the last hat I knit is very soft, very luxurious. I used Holst yarn, Holst yarn. It's from Denmark, I think. It's Scandinavian. It's knitted up with three yarns. So it's the Holst, Holst yarn Titika and the Holst yarn Noble, which has 5% cashmere in it and the other thread I used was um, K 
Kit Silk from Austerman, which also, no, not cashmere, that has mohair and silk in it. So, can you see the halo? This is also for a very special person. I'm gonna surprise her with it. Okay, I have some news. Um, last week I asked on my Instagram account if people wanted to see how I knit my scrappy socks. Um, well, a lot of you really want to see it. That is, when I showed these, there is still a stitch marker in it. Can you see it? That is the place where I am going to knit my heel. And I will cut the little stitch here and then unravel to the left and to the right and then knit uh, a toe, which also functions as a heel. They fit me. Um, and I love knitting them. I, I, I can't. I cannot do it in an, in any other way. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a one trick pony. Sorry. Um, but when I showed the picture, or the, or um, rather the the video in which I showed these, people said, "Well, that's fine, but there's no heel." But I, I didn't think about it. I showed the socks, and I thought. Um, well, the heel is still going to be knit in it, but um, I forgot to explain that. But when people asked and commented on, on the Instagram account or on Facebook, um, I corrected that and I said, no, they're just not finished yet. But a lot of people um, like the idea. I mean, there are a lot of good tutorials out there in English. And I think also in, in Dutch, I don't know. I'm going to do it in English, which is not my main language, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, and it's it's my way. I, it's just, um, I get a lot of questions when I post them on Instagram and people wanna know how I did it. And I, w I would like to make a tutorial in a few parts, but, um, it's again it's my way it's it's not to say that you have to do it this way that is I use um, I, be, I begin at the toe and I knit them uh, both so at the same time on magic loop which is a long knitting needle um, I use a technique called Judy's magic cast on which I love uh, there are other ways to do it. You don't have to do it like mine, like like I do. Um, so let's see if you really like the way I do. I also make an afterthought heel in it. So I just knit from the toe up all the way to the... Uh, the leg and the bind off. And then I pick up stitches and knit the heel. So if you don't like that, don't watch. <laughs> okay. What you, uh, if, if you want to join and if you want to, I have, have to find the time to do it. So uh, no pressure. Um, but find yourself a piece of paper, white paper, piece of paper step on it with one foot let somebody else trace your foot and uh, cut it out or glue it on some uh, cardboard and, and uh, cut it out and then you measure from the top of the rounding toe to your heel and then you have your uh, shoe size or foot size because that is imp important to know uh, where you have to make the heel because a heel usually takes up about five centimeters which is about two inches so 
that is something you can prepare for measure your foot and also um, prepare uh, your wool you can knit them both if you look at this example this is an example which I used similar no the same the same yarn and I started both socks at the toe with the same yarn and I matched them all no not all almost all the way up you see this is the the back side with the heel they're almost identical they're matching socks nothing wrong with that I like I like them if other people want to make them fine by me I get a little bit bored doing this so usually I make my socks with the same color in the toes the same color in the heels and then either the same color the gray or any other color color in um, the cuffs um, and then in between I switch it up so I make them as mismatching as possible but you don't have to do that choose your own way these are knitted with totally different yarns all the way see they are obviously a pair because I used sort of the same colors and I switched the yarns from left to right um, but it's up to you if you make them matching it's all good if you don't if you don't want that if you want to make a mismatching it's all good um, what else have I got to show you yeah the, the yarn so you can start um, the toes with if you want to make them two at the same time I always use the inner thread for one sock and the outer thread difficult word thread the outer thread with the other this this one comes from the outside and this is called a cake you cake up your yarn I have a little thing for that you can also divide one skein or skein never know how to pronounce it or one ball of yarn and divide them into two equal parts use a kitchen scale for that so 50 grams for the left sock and 50 grams for the right sock that's that's also possible uh, you could also use both and do the toe with the gray and the other toe with the purple that's up to you or use all kinds <laughs> of ball little balls I love little balls look at that um a lot of people ask me did you knit uh, socks from all these balls or are these all leftovers yes they are but sometimes I cheat sometimes I have a new skein of yarn sock yarn and I steal a few grams and then I make it into a small ball which I use in my scrappy socks so I cheat I admit and you can do that there's no scrappy sock police not that I know of anyway so please join if you want to um, what else do I have yeah the yarn needles I knit mine on two millimeters which is a US zero I think I don't know the Canadian or the English number for that I wish we could all um, wouldn't that be great if we all had a universal knitting needle uh, number just like the inches and the centimeters I hate that but anyway okay that's it so that's coming up the scrappy sock knitters I will link the Facebook group um, in the show notes down down below uh, and I hope to see you next time
Bye.